Okay, so this is why um, the current election will trigger a civil war and it will completely collapse. Let me turn that on. <laughs> completely collapse this country. So if you don't know, both political candidates are a complete facade. Um, neither party actually represents the true interest of the people. No party is trying to make this country livable. This is an unlivable country um, where the wages don't even pay a fraction of what it what it costs to actually live, have a roof over your head, have children comfortably. Okay, anybody can have children. Anybody can have a relationship. Anybody can have babies. It doesn't take much to have children. But actually raising them, actually putting food on the table is becoming harder and harder and harder every single year. And over the last, like, I'd say 60 years, nothing, and I mean nothing, has been done to actually um, remedy um, these issues, okay? If we have a president, okay, people are like, oh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I'm like, no, bro. Yes, he's only, mar I'd say he's marginally better than Biden, and that's not saying much. Okay, that's not saying much. It's not, it's not hard to be better than a senile old man, okay? It's not hard to be better than a senile old fool that can't even talk properly, okay? So these are our two options, okay? You can't even call this option, really. And, you know, we don't want, where's the choice? Where's the options? Where's the options? Where's the actual political machine that is supposed to be running in this so-called democracy that is supposed to make this country better over time? Okay, if democracy is so good, why are there so many homeless people? Why are there so many people living with their parents? Why are there so many people on drugs? Why are there so many drug overdoses? Why are there so much stuff that is going on that is bad? Okay, bad, complete, um, dissolution of the family unit is in full swing so mothers against fathers fathers against daughters um dads against uh, mothers and vice versa it's just a complete um divide and conquer so it's all divide and conquer you just fight um each other while corporations are literally running <laughs> running with the loot okay running away with the loot and you know it's, you can distract yourself with sports you can distract yourself with partying you can distract yourself with tv movies all these little distractions but at the end of the day if these issues aren't solved we know exactly what is going to happen it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse until it reaches a breaking point okay we've seen this happen before in other countries where um, issues will culminate and then it will reach a breaking point where, you know, a civil war happens, a coup happens, um, rioting in the streets. These can be the, the, the trigger points for these sorts of collapses. So the election in 2024, um, it, it's, it's going to be a wild, wild ride, okay? Um, if you don't think something big is coming, um, you're just insane okay because everybody with a brain sees the writing on the wall everybody sees the writing on the wall okay okay pollution chemicals in our water forever chemicals people know this stuff is happening the people in charge in charge know this stuff is happening but they're not doing anything about it they're not doing anything about it all these forever chemicals um people homeless um struggling um you have autism rates rising um birth defects rising um obesity rising everything is rising everything bad is rising are people like a person from the, like the freaking 40s would just be deemed superhuman in today's world um because people are just so out of shape now people are so out of shape now um that if you took a person like a 20 year old from 1940s and just placed them into today's world they'd be there they with today's technology they'd be deemed superhuman they'd literally be classified as superhuman okay 
that is how bad things have gotten. So I could go on and on about this, but yeah, we're just reaching a precipice, okay, um, this year. And it, it, it will only get worse.